Hey everyone, Mike here with the watch list video for Thursday, June 6th. Um, the SPY, let me put the horizontal line there at the most recent high. The SPY broke out today, so we're sitting at all time highs. Very impressive stock market strength, very impressive. Let me throw this up here. For new members that don't know what we do or never been in a chat room like ours, there's your brief summary about what we do. Um, so none of this investment advice, it's uh, charts that look interesting to me to possibly trade intraday the next day. Hope that makes sense. Um, probably my favorite call in chat today, Kevin P. I feel like a broken record because I always end up saying Kevin P, but a big rip today. Um, let me go to five minute candles if you weren't in chat today. He called it, see that horizontal line right there? He noticed that it topped out early at 28.64 and at the time was much stronger than the market. So he pointed out the relative strength uh, and then it came up and hit that area again. His idea was back over that 28.65, which happened right there. And it ended up going all the way to, I don't know, 30.97 before it came back down. You know, we protect the entry once we start selling. Um, but I thought that was a great call. Um, I just called uh, MNDR and after hours, for those of you who hung out with me, back through two and it went to 233 pretty quick. Um, and I'm actually kind of enjoying after hours and pre-market more than their regular hours lately, but um, I don't know how long that's going to keep up. And there's an example of the spot. Just did a slow grind higher all day. And uh, there weren't a lot of individual names popping, but again, we found some good stuff to trade. I also called GWAV. Got a quick 50 cent uh, trade in that one, GWAV in pre-market for those of you that were, that were there trading with me in pre-market. So, Anyway, let's go to the watch list for tomorrow. Um, pretty kind of, pretty big list. All right, BROS um, just broke out today. Ended up closing about at that breakout point, um, but certainly worth a possible continuation watch tomorrow. ASNS, you know what? I think I'm going to take this one off. Yeah, I'm going to remove it from the list. They did an offering in after hours and it kind of got weaker. And um, plus it was a serial halter. It, every 17 seconds it halted today. I've said this a million times. If I ever meet the person, the man or woman who invented the halt rule, um, I will kick him or her in the balls if I ever meet them. So um, it's the dumbest rule ever. It doesn't help anybody. MNDR. Um, this day was real. It fell from 2360 down to 292 in one day and then just went into what we call sidewaysness, which I know isn't really a word. Um, but today I actually had some decent volume and that was the after hours trade I called today through two. Um, and again, it went to 233. Uh, but that volume, maybe we get a follow through day tomorrow. So it makes the list. Stitch Fix, which my wife was a member of years and years ago and I thought it was the dumbest thing ever. But nice breakout today, even though it closed well off its highs, goes on watch tomorrow. Uh, GME, I already talked about GameStop, uh, Kevin P's great call today. It's curling back up, so, you know, it's definitely an in-play stock, so it goes on the list. AMBA topped out at 60 back here, and it's curled back up near that area. Very strong stock. Um, JWEL, um, really nice pop today. It went as high as, so far at least, 280 in after hours, so that one goes on watch. You know, we love to focus on in-play stuff. Triple D which is a well-rounded company. I'm sorry, that was funny to me. Um, nice pop today on what sounded like good news. Could have certainly have a follow-through day tomorrow. Put it on watch. SMMT was on bounce watch today. It did put in a nice green candle. Maybe that continues tomorrow. BKKT is a thinner Bitcoin type play, right? Um, most days it doesn't even break half a million, but uh, it did top out at exactly 20 back here on May 21st. Certainly interesting over that level. Um, this thing can really move when it moves, so it goes on watch. Um, SG, nice breakout today. We'll see if it gives a follow through day tomorrow. HZO, holding up really well. After that pop a few days ago. CVAC, just a strong stock. I'm just gonna keep that one on watch. Um, XERS. Had a really nice three or four day run, put in a red day and it's already curling right back up. I like the looks of that one. ACHR had nice volume today on what sounded like good news and then popped some more and after hours went to 380 so far. So let's keep that one on our radar. 
BNAI. I'm going to give this one more day on bounce watch. It didn't even come close to triggering today and it's almost round tripped. Um, but it made such a nice move this day that I'm putting it back on my radar for tomorrow. A couple more. AFMD goes on bounce watch. Big rip, two days lower on declining volume. And GPS, big rip, three red days on declining volume. Um, both of those go on bounce watch. We'll work together in pre-market as we always do and add gappers to this list. Um, and so that's it for me. I will see everybody in the chat room in the morning. Have a great night.